Have you ever received a message online from somebody pretending to be somebody you know? Online impersonation can create major problems for victims, but it is not necessarily illegal. Jeremy Harris kicks off our team coverage tonight. Jeremy? Yeah, well, Heidi, a bill here cleared its first hurdle today and is now moving forward. Online impersonation is really one of the developing areas of laws surrounding digital privacy and social media. Supporters of this bill, though, say it will protect anybody who uses social media. Even you can be affected by this. Alberta Young says her life was turned upside down when she was impersonated online. It was kind of a shock because I didn't expect that somebody could do such a such a crime. But even after working to undo what an impersonator said and did in her name. Were you surprised when you found out this wasn't a crime? I was very surprised. HB 239 would make what happened to Alberta a crime. Witnesses who spoke in support of the bill today said fake profiles and comments posted online in their names led to harassment, job loss, false criminal charges, and death threats. Online impersonation laws aim to protect the reputation of targeted individuals and deter or prevent online harassment. 12 states currently forbid impersonating someone else online, which in Utah and other states falls into a gap in online harassment and threat laws. We take a lifetime to build a reputation and then somebody can, in a click of a button, can ruin. Now, the bill seems to have wide support. It passed through the House Judiciary Committee with unanimous votes. Also, high-profile defense attorney, as well as somebody from the Utah Attorney General's, both spoke in that committee hearing in favor of the bill. Reporting live at the state capitol, Jeremy Harris, 2 News.